I'll invite you to join me on this banana journey. I'm going to be eating a lot of bananas for the next seven days. If you want to join in, copy the same exact menu plan I'm doing. Banana eat and begin. We've got one fully ripe box here, another half fully ripe box here. Well, it's, it's fully ripe, but there's only half of them left, and a full box over there. All organic, as you can see. I prefer fair trade. These aren't fair trade. So I'm, I gotta admit, I'm not as proud of myself with this purchase. But this is my reward at the end. Once I get through all these bananas, I'll celebrate by eating that. The reason I'm doing this is because one, it's really cost effective to just eat bananas. Two, it's really health effective. It's digestively effective to just take in one food source and my body becomes very efficient at it. My energy levels will be at their highest due to diet in a dietary fashion. And I'm gonna be productive. Yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of videos recorded for you. And my family's out of town right now, so I have time to work, time to record videos. I wanna make maximal use of it. I've got a cleaning spree <laughs> that I'm underway here at the house as well. So I've got projects that I want to attend to. I don't want to spend a lot of time thinking about food. And since my kids aren't here, I don't have to think about any special thing as far as food. I can just serve myself and I can be really simple. I can just eat bananas. I can eat salad at night. And that can be my day. So I'm going to focus in on bananas for seven days straight. It's called Banana Island, coined by Dr. Douglas Graham, the author of The 8-10-10 Diet. It's a book I highly recommend if you haven't read it yet. And the concept here is we're going to simplify our digestion. So if, say we got this much energy that we have available and this, and this much of it being used in digestion. When we simplify our diet to a mono meal, start eating just bananas, just watermelon, just simple foods, then we can reduce this effort down to this, leaving us with that residual extra effort of energy, that extra energy to use for healing or to use for athletic endeavors or to get projects done. And so... You'll feel fantastic, you'll feel lighter, you'll feel more productive. It's definitely worth the experimentation. And then simultaneously when you come out of it, it's just a seven day experiment, all your other food choices will still be there. So it's a great way to get a reset on your system and reset your taste buds, reset your digestive system. So when you go introduce new foods or foods you used to eat, you can get a better observation on them. Is it too salty? Is it really causing indigestion? Is it really what I want to eat? You'll have a way better perspective after seven days and coming back and looking at it again. So take a little break, have some bananas, relax. It's, we're almost moving into that sweet part of the year where all the fruits are popping, all the fresh fruits, the berries are coming into season. So I'm gonna finish out this cold season here on a Banana Island Challenge. It's gonna be fun. Join along if you'd like. Otherwise, just watch along. So before I showed you how I had arranged the bananas, but now I've taken the time to actually Seeing as the family isn't here right now, I might as well use the table how I want to make it. So I've set them into stacks of 30 for each day. So we've got one day, two day, three day, four day, five day, and six day. Really, this is the first day I'm working on. I've already got 10 bananas in there on the counter. Started up for a smoothie. And then there's some others that I have frozen, get ready to freeze, and these other ones for today. So I might make some frozen or I might pull from another patch but this is the arrangement, this is the setup. 180 bananas for six days. On that seventh day, I think I'll break it and I'll start my morning with the melon. And I'll still have some more bananas down there to round off my week after I finish Banana Island. So let's go right in here and just finish off what I'm doing here. I'm just peeling and putting them in here and I'll blend them up. Simple as that. And that's the first meal on Banana Island. Smoothie. Simple, just pure bananas and water. That's how we're gonna start. Just the sear, <laughs> just the pure sweetness and deliciousness of bananas. I have not grown tired of this basic smoothie, which is banana mixed with water. Banana mixed with banana. Delicious. Mm. That's delicious. We're off to a sweet start. So it's five o'clock and I'm making the second meal here. It's another banana smoothie. I don't mind doing smoothies.
All right, so I'm enjoying my banana island, but I was walking around the island and I stumbled across some vegetation. Yes, there's some food in the house that I still got to go through. I'm the only one here, so I realized I got to eat some of this food that's left over. There's some tomatoes, some lettuce, and cucumbers that I'm going to have to get through, so I even found a little bit of tahini that I'm going to put on top of it. And here's the salad that I had for day one of Banana Island. Thanks for watching. If you want to find out what I ate for day two of Banana Island, click this link right here. And subscribe for more tips on living a high energy healthy lifestyle.